it's a good day to have a good day. Just walking into the airport now, off to go and meet the family. Usually when I go to the airport, I try and get there as late as I possibly can. Because I don't really just like waiting about. It's just not really me. I prefer to just get there and just go straight through and go straight onto the plane as quick as possible. However, today, I said, oh, I thought that was them then. Today I said that I would uh, get here early and meet everyone for breakfast. I don't know if I need to check, oh, nearly went up the wrong one. I don't know if I need to check in or not. Yo, basically going for a little family holiday for a few days with mum, dad, Poppy and Sean. So he's been mad busy recently and uh, decided to chill out and just sit home and look after the dogs for this little trip. We're only away for a couple of days, so. I think I can just go straight through and check in. I have to admit, I kind of have no idea about anything to do with this trip. I wasn't really in charge of booking it. Poppy was. Just got through security. Whatever I end up vlogging of this trip, we're taking it old school. We've just got like a tiny little vlog camera in my hands, no other fancy cameras, no one else helping out filming. We're just rolling with this little camera, little one here, we're going to see what happens. Yeah, I just realised we're in the longest shop in the world. You know when you go through the airport and the duty free shop is literally like a maze to get through. I don't think, I don't think I've ever bought anything from in here. But I've spent far too long of my life in this shop. Make sure you touch the outside. Go on, touch it, touch it. Thanks so much. Cheers. Yo, it's actually quite a lot hotter. Nice. It's nice weather. Nice. I thought it was meant to be raining. Well, apparently when we left Brighton, it was raining here. Forgot about my carry-on. Just left my suitcase on the plane. That's what you want. Hey. Yo, that was close. Nearly bloody forgot this. Through into the airport. Mum and dad have booked somebody to pick us up to take us to where we're staying. Although, if you saw how many names are here, let me show you. <laughs> you try and find our names. <laughs> Mum and dad are trying to find our names out of all of these people down here. Like, this is ridiculous. It's why you just get an Uber. And my dad likes to book things and plan things way in advance. I think I said earlier on in this video, I'm kind of just rolling with this holiday and this trip. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even told you where we are. We're in Lisbon, by the way, which I haven't been, I haven't been to Lisbon for like, what, when did we last come to Lisbon? Probably 20, I was at five. 20 years. Yeah, I told somebody last week I was going to Italy. I thought we were going to, I haven't been involved in this trip. Poppy booked all of this trip and planned it all. Just asked me if I'm free on these dates and I said yes. Um, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I just have no idea what's happening, which is cool. It's more exciting. Do you know what we're doing? Oh, I have not seen the Airbnb or anything. Is it nice? No. Okay, would you let me, let's put it this way, would you let me plan a trip? Well, there we go then. Would you would literally it's, take us like dirt, dirt trap riding. This is the thing though. Riding. You can't say, like, sarcastic, you like doing all the work because you wouldn't let anybody else do that. You like planning too much. Our driver's lost. Yeah. Now getting a taxi or an Uber because our driver didn't turn up and is lost or something. That's just been on the phone to them. And they couldn't, they're not here basically. <laughs> Change your plan again, we found, we found the driver. He's just walking us to the cars now. How's it going? You all right? Very good, thank you. Yeah.
Why are you laughing at me? Nothing, I'm just talking about your bedroom. Mum, why have you put a drone above me in my room? <laughs> Honestly, this apartment's about what to take off. Oh. Poppy's laughing at me because those guys have both got, <laughs> both got big double bedrooms. And I've got a big double bedroom, but just two single beds in it, which I'm fine about. I don't mind sleeping in a single bed. If, if anything, when I sleep in a double bed or a king bed or whatever, I don't spread out to take up both beds. So, this literally makes no difference to me. However, those guys have all got double beds. So they're laughing at me because I've got a room, I've got the kids' room. But I said when I sleep in a double bed, I don't spread out anyway. It makes no difference to me. Other than the blooming DJI Phantom put above me in the air. Although it's so nice. I kind of wish we had one of these in our room. I don't. I mean, you must be able to get them in the UK, but I've never seen anyone with one. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Hey. Yeah. Have you got a drone in your room? Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Oh, uh. I've currently got 113 emails in my inbox. I'm just telling myself that I've got zero emails in my inbox. Just before I go, just emptied all my suitcase and stuff. I want to show you guys the little room. One bed here. Got my Gaviscon. Essential. Bought that at the airport. If you ever get acid reflux, these are literally a lifesaver. They're so good. Camera back to charging. Phone charger. Laptop charger. Got some clothes, you know. For the trip. Uh, this one that I was wearing earlier. This is new. This is pretty cool. I like this. Um, and then boxers and hats and trousers. These are pretty out there. Check these. They're pretty crazy. Um, right, I'm off, guys. See you in a, See you in a minute. Peace out. Bye. Also, got a bloody fanny pack on, haven't I? Got one of these. Mum and Dad are outside somewhere having a little coffee. Poppy's got a couple of emails to do. Also, I realised a minute ago when I was washing my hands and like having a little spruce after being on the aeroplane that I had all orange all in my beard. I didn't realise. I say beard, I mean stubble. Because yesterday I had a, uh, a photo shoot for a really exciting front cover of a magazine and we shot eight different images and one of them included orange paint. I can't tell you much more than that because I'm not allowed to leak anything. But if you're wondering why I've got like orange bits in my beard or hair or red or different colours, that's because, that's why. You guys have got a bottle of wine out. Go on. Bobby just pissed herself. We've come into a sardine shop. Apparently these are the yeah, best where ones. Where are you from? Uh, from England. We not only have sardines, but we have 16 other varieties of fish. Here we go. Wow, We have okay. sea bass, we have octopus, calamari. Go on, pot. Salmon. Oh yeah, try the salmon one. Go on. Is it good? Thank you so much. Awesome, you go through here. And it's all like underwater like old sewers or something. Is it sewers? The Roman... I think it's Roman like, cryptoportic. I don't know what cryptoportic is, but... Yeah, well, that looks sick. This square is so beautiful. Look at that massive entrance over there. So cool. What? I'm a little bit intrigued by this. But over there, it's the sexiest WC on earth. Are you not intrigued? Damn! There is! Go find out what the sexiest toilet is. Do you reckon you have to pay to use it? I'd pay to see the world's sexiest toilet. Sean's just pointed out that this bridge over here, I mean, not that I've been, so I don't actually know, but it looks like San Fran Bridge. It's so cool in the distance. It's such a clear day. The light is so like bright and clear right now. I feel like I can see in like extra HD. Why would you get a car when you can get both? That there is a bus and a boat. No, it's not. It's got a seat on it. Look at it. Are we doing it? 
The girls have gone back to where we're staying because they're tired and they want to chill for a bit. We just survived. No, but I wonder where we can just rent them for a bit. Dad, you can do it as well. Oh my God, look at it. Okay, rent hire. So you can just rent it for a period of time. Yeah, just a little free test to try it out. Go on, get that, Sean. <laughs> why is this the funniest thing I've ever seen? Why do I just want to see Poppy or Mum on one of these so bad? Look at it. Myself, Dad, and Sean have just come down to grab a beer down by this bit. Although we didn't realise it was as like. DJ set live down here right now. Have a little whiz. Go on, push the lean forward. Get that. Well, I feel like I just need one of these to get around Brighton, you know. Just jump from the office to go and get my lunch on one of these. Go, go, go. Lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> when the sea comes in and out, for some reason, loads of air pushes up here. Oh, and it's all like salt water all comes flying up and just smash me in the face. Wait for it. I wonder if we could get anything to Put your face over it. Put your face right over. <laughs> Wait, the camera's going to deflect it. <laughs> <laughs> I did most of it in the back of my camera. <laughs> that is dirt. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. Why are you doing? Yolo. Just showing off. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me because we've got literally the DJ behind. I just got the world's biggest GNT. Dad's gone for Jack Daniels and ginger beer. What? That literally looks like Iron Brew. I've never seen one of them in my life. Aperol, which is a certain type of liquor or something, but then there's Prosecco in there as well. Very fancy. <laughs> We're heading into the Time Out Market. And Poppy and Mum are about to meet us in a minute. So this is like a massive market of different things. And we've come here for we've come here for dinner. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realise the I didn't realise the step was there. I was like, oh, and I got a bad knee anyway. Yeah, this is kind of like the Chelsea Market. Well, I mean, we haven't been inside yet. I feel like it's going to be like the Chelsea Market in New York. Similar vibe. Yeah. Well, you know when we saw Tom perform in our play? Wait, you didn't go. I was so ill. I couldn't go. I was going to say that was sick and it was kind of like this vibe. Dad, do you remember where we went to that place in London where Tanya's play? Yeah, fantastic. It was kind of like a more rustic version of this. This is sick. Yes, this is so cool. Look at this. Yo, and then all of these are just different restaurants and like food places. This is great. I'm so indecisive about what. You can have a little bit of everything. I can have a bit of everything. Yo, this is awesome. Wow, big fan. That's me, the gin. G and T's. Going to be good. I do like it. We're starting off before the girls arrive here. We've gone for. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We've started off with some croquettes. We've got three chicken curry, one tuna, one game, and one something, something else. I have no idea. You've ordered sausages, so there's your change. I kind of didn't get any euros out for this trip, so so far I've just had to borrow everyone else's money. So I pay for everything. <laughs> I'll pay you back. Something what is Sean getting? Look at him. Have you not decided? I wanted to get spring rolls, but they're closed. Oh. Go and get something. You have to get calamari. Quick. Quick. No, until the girls come. you got food. Quick, go. Basically, we're trying to eat before the girls arrive. And then we'll pretend we haven't eaten and then we'll eat another meal when they arrive. That's the plan. 
We need to set one up. Fantastic. I'm saying it now, guys. We don't need to do the restaurants. They do it themselves. We're going to make a place like this in Brighton. This is my aim this year. I'm going to make a spot like this. Actually, not sorry, not this year. Next year. It's already halfway through. It's already over halfway through this year. Next year, at some point, I'm going to open a space like. I don't think it will be as big as this. Obviously, this is pretty damn big. There isn't even spots this big in Brighton. So we need to open somewhere like this in Brighton. Oh my god, that is good. Oh my gosh. What have you got? Where's the calamari? I panicked, okay? Is that Everywhere calamari? I went Is it to get calamari? spring rolls. I went to get gyozas. I then went to get some weird little like pork filled. What is that? Just try it, bro. And then where else like I went to get these little like prosciutto little tart. Your things. job was to get calamari. Look at how good this looks though. What are they? Toasties? No, they're like, you know the little custard tarts, but in oh, with three little beers. We've got dessert. So we've got the starter, the main, the dessert, and a beer. <laughs> yeah. So the girls are literally just like waking up now. And we've already told dinner. Them. No, we've had our first dinner. <laughs> Isn't it just insane? We'll just pretend we're. You'll have to pretend that you haven't tried it before, though. Yeah. I'm going to be so stuffed. They've just arrived earlier. Oh, no. <laughs> we tried to eat before you arrived to have an extra meal. No, that's Sean's. That's that. No, that's that woman. Slayer Pop. Pop, you're taking her food. I don't know. That, that, that was already left there. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're just walking back from dinner. We didn't ever go to the most luxurious, the best no, we didn't. toilet in the world. We, we missed out. We'll have to go tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll go tomorrow. You know. If you've been, <laughs> let us know in the comments, no, guys. The sexiest toilet. Oh, the sexiest. That was the one. I don't know what's sexy about a toilet. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Maybe I'm some sexy there. perfume? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> don't know. It's been a long time since I ended a vlog in bed. This is like proper daily vlogging Alfie. Today's just felt like that as a whole really. Just super, super relaxed. Chilled vlogging. Just with a little camera and the family. And um, it's been cool. Just got into bed now. I've got 147 emails, which is nice. However, it is Friday, which uh, means that nobody's going to be doing emails. Actually saying that, a lot of the team do still do emails on the weekends. Um, so I've got a chance to to try and catch up before Monday as much as possible. But obviously, we're away on holiday, so I don't want to be doing too much. So if you can't hear me too well, I've literally got the fan on up there. And it sounds like there's a helicopter in the room but it's super nice and cool. Anyways, I'm gonna leave the vlog here, guys. If you've enjoyed this chilled, laid back, family style vlog, give the video a thumbs up, let me know. Subscribe if you're not already. Yeah, it's been cool. I didn't really plan to vlog the holiday. I don't know, I might vlog tomorrow. I think I will. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog every day or whether I might put some of the days together. I'm definitely gonna vlog some more over the next couple of days, so there'll be new videos coming up soon on this channel. Um, okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.